Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Members of the House of Representatives have voted along party lines for Jamaica to leave the United Kingdom-based Privy Council and establish the Caribbean Court of Justice as Jamaica's final court of appeal. The matter now heads to the Senate where at least one opposition senator must side with the government for the bill to go through. Fire officials spent another day battling in East Rural St. Andrew. The focus was on Tar Hill, Lime Tree and Pine Grove near Craighead. The Jamaica Confederation of Trade Unions says the government risks an island-wide shutdown if it maintains its current wage offer and unions could commit suicide if they accept. The government has offered a 5% increase in basic salaries. The Jamaica Defense Force is claiming that the NWC has overcharged it by more than $700 million over the past eight years. Lieutenant Colonel David Cummings made the claim while addressing members of Parliament's Public Accounts Committee. In sports, the 2014 Diamond League 400-meter champion Navleen Williams-Mills will begin her title defense in Doha, Qatar, when the new season starts on Friday. Williams-Mills is among six Jamaicans listed on the provisional list of entry for the first meeting of the 2015 IAAF Diamond League Series. In your weather forecast, Wednesday morning will be mainly sunny. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers, mainly across inland areas of central and western parishes. It will also be windy, especially over southern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.